Good morning and welcome to our collective worship together this morning. It's so good to be with you. This is my second time of trying to record this because first time around I just took a photo of myself. So that wasn't much good, was it? Um, but it's good to be with you now. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is David and I'm one of the local vicars. Uh, we work with a lot of the local churches around here, including St Mary's in Fursk, St Wilfrid in South Kilvington, St Lawrence in Carlton Minniot and St Leonard's in St Hutton. So maybe you know where some of those church buildings are, or maybe you've been and visited before. Um, but we hope that when we can open up again, that we'll be able to show you our buildings and show you the space that we use to worship God together. Um, but in the meantime, our church families have been worshipping at home, um, which has been a really important part of our life as a church together. Um, and this morning we're thinking about how faith can give us direction. And I think during the pandemic, for church families who haven't been able to gather in their buildings and not been able to gather together, actually it's been a time of really seeking God for direction of how do we be church family when we can't gather together. That's been a bit of a journey that we've been going on over this last year. I wonder what journeys you've been going on in your life over the last year. But maybe as we uh, come to the start of our time together this morning, Maybe you're thinking about going back to school next week. Maybe you're excited. Maybe you're nervous. Maybe you're anxious. But no matter what you're feeling about it, know that God is faithful in all things. And that as we light our candle this morning at the start of our time together, know that God is with you. And maybe take this moment as a small moment of thought and reflection and just say to God, God, come and be with me. Be with my friends and my family as we go back to school next week. So I'm going to pray and we're going to light our candle together. So Father God, we pray that you will take any fear, any nervousness, any anxiety away from us and replace it with joy and excitement about returning to school next week. May that be a really joyful and safe time for everyone. And Father, we remember this morning that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. A light no darkness can quench. And if we look at the flickering flame, Father, we remember your presence with us. Amen. Amen. So this week we are continuing on our pilgrimage towards Easter. Now for those of you who haven't, maybe haven't seen the first um, couple of these assemblies, the pilgrimage is a journey that we go on. It, normally it's a walking journey. Um, and it, it's a journey that gives us space to reflect and to think about our relationship with God. And for Christians in that time, they might use that to think about how they can follow Jesus and how they can really press into him and know him more. And today on our pilgrimage towards Easter, we're thinking about how faith can give us direction. I wonder what you might need with you for direction, what you might go and pick up to say I'm going to use this for direction. So maybe you could pause the video now and you could go and maybe find one or two items that you would use for giving you direction. So pause the video and go and find your items. Okay well I hope that you've been able to find a couple of items. So the first item that I picked up was my map of the North Yorkshire Moors so that I can find where I'm going when I go out for a walk. Um, normally I would use a digital version of this because this gets a little bit big and cumbersome and difficult to work with when the wind is blowing and the rain is pouring. Um, but it is a really helpful thing to be able to pull it out and to have a look and to work out where I want to go, how I get from A to B. But also on here I can maybe find out maybe what, what what kind of shoes I need to be wearing. Maybe I'll see on here if I'm going to have to cross a river or walk through a farmer's field. But equally, maybe I'll see on here, I might spot a good spot for a picnic. I might find somewhere where I can get a cup of coffee. I can find out lots of really useful information from this map. It's a really helpful tool for finding direction, isn't it? But the other item that I picked up um, was my Bible. Now, the Bible, this is, a, this is a really important map for me in my Christian life. It contains within it all the direction from God for all sorts of situations in life. 
because the Bible, I believe, is really powerful. As within its pages, we can find guidance kind of no matter what the situation might be. No matter where we find ourselves in life, it has something to say about it. And also within it, we find out about the life of Jesus, which I think his life was the ultimate direction for us to try and follow. And in my Christian life, I want the direction that I follow to be that I grow to be more like Jesus. That I follow in his footsteps and become more like him. Now, in Psalm 119, it says, Bless me with life so that I can continue to obey you. Open my eyes to see wonderful things in your word. I am but a pilgrim here on earth. How I need a map. And your commands are my chart and guide. I long for your instruction more than I can tell. Now, while my map is really useful for finding my way on the moor, my Bible and prayer, they help me to find direction in my life. And one person who I admire is the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. Now, the Archbishop of Canterbury, um, he's let his faith impact and direct his life even to the point now where he's leading the Church of England. And Justin tried, Justin trusts in the direction that God is taking him. And this comes from his understanding that God accepts him as he is. And that, and Justin says that, that God accepts him as he is and trusts that God is journeying with him, no matter where he's at. And Justin Welby knows that whether he is successful, whether he is a failure, that God does not change at all. And that means that no matter what is going on in life, God promises to be with us, guiding us and walking with us on our journey. I find that really encouraging, that God promises to go on our journey with us and to be our guide. I wonder what gives you direction in your life. Maybe you could take some time this week to have a think about that. Maybe it's something that you want to pray about or talk through with a friend or a family member. Maybe you could look into someone whose faith gives them a strong direction in their life, like Justin Welby. So now I'm going to pray for us that we will be able to trust and follow God and know his direction in our lives. That, and, and we can trust that we can journey with him. And maybe something prayer is something that's new for you. Maybe you don't, don't believe in God. But take this moment as a point of reflection where we can be still in the, in the midst of our day. So creator God, who made the world and all that is in it, guide us on our journey with you, with peace and love. Jesus came to show us the way, the truth and the life. Help us to follow his path. Help us to journey with you. Amen. And now we're going to bring all of our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer, which is a prayer that Christians around the world pray, so that we know that we are all praying together. So the words will appear on the screen if you want to join in. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. I have really enjoyed being with you this morning. And I'm glad that you've not just had a photo of me, but that you had a whole video of our collective worship. And I hope and pray that you have a really great start going back to school next week. And know that we are praying for you as you go on that journey. And know that we are for you and, and with you as you journey towards Easter together in the, the changing world that we currently live in. So may you know God's peace and blessing as you go into the rest of your week. So take care and we'll see you soon. God bless.